Hey all, what's going on? Today we're going to take a look at, at uh, upgrading this old Craftsman cordless screwdriver. Rechargeable and reversible. Now back in the day, I used this on one of my jobs. It was like the greatest thing in the world that we got. I finally had a, like a screwdriver that we didn't need to plug in a drill. And it was great. So this is... This is probably from 1990 or earlier. So that's what, a good 30 years old, right? It's still around, still in good shape. I remember I took this uh, clip out that, that locked the uh, chuck. I never really used it, so that's why I took it out. And I think this was strong enough to, to do it without it, so. So let's open this bad boy up and see what we got inside. Let's see, I need Torx. Looks like around a T15. Let's see what we got here. T27, T15. Let's try T15. Nope, it's just 15. Yep, so I guess we're going with T10. Usually the Torx, whatever size you think it is, it's, it's usually the one under it for some odd reason. Always. Even when you think you know it, it's probably one size smaller. All right, let's pop this bad boy open, see if the battery's leaked or anything over the years. I guess we're gonna find out in a minute if this is trash or if we could give it new life. We'll put an 18650 in here. See what's up. No, it doesn't tell me how many volts this thing uses. I, I don't know if I can find a charger. Well, anyway, let's open it up anyway. I think it'll, I think it'll be good with one 18650. Oh boy. Yeah, that battery don't look that great. It's busting open. Oh, I think I'm gonna put some gloves on. Handle this bad boy with some gloves on. Don't want to get the Rona, you know what I mean? Self quarantine today, staying home, doing my part, hoping it doesn't spread, hoping we can get back to work within a week. I'm hoping. Just shutting down the economy ain't helping nobody. While everybody else is, uh, you know, palling around together. All right, let's get this off. Okay, let's wiggle this off here without breaking it. Oh boy. It's coming, there it goes. This battery's had it. There it comes. We got it. We got it. I like the simplicity of the old things. You know what I mean? You got a simple little switch here and a battery. Connects right to the to the motor right there. Simple. Simple. Okay, let me move this battery to the side. And depending on which way you push that switch, it, it reverses the polarity from positive to negative and reverses the motor. Very simple. Very simple. All right, now we're in. All right, so we just got to see how a battery's going to fit in there pretty nicely. Probably stronger. We should probably make sure it works before we try it. Let's put this red on positive, white on negative. All right. Hold this down. Sounds pretty good, huh? All right, so we just got to uh, maybe solder the ends from the other battery onto this one. And then we can just plug it in. So let's do that. Let me get the battery. We'll pull the ends off it. I think we could just bend this off. Like this. All right, then we got one end, and we got the other end here. All right, that's all we need. And you can see this just got wet. It ain't even 
leaking or anything. Basically, it just got wet and this uh, coating just came off it, that's all. Okay, next we're going to solder this on, one on each end. Let's see how we're going to do this. We'll do this one like this, and we'll do the other one like this, without touching the end. Yeah, that should be doable. Let me get a little file, and then we'll start. All right. So what we're going to do is scratch up the end so we can solder these pieces on. Scratch it up so we can get the solder stick, right? Scratch up this end a little bit. You got to be careful with these batteries. You want to break it around here. So scratch this up a little bit. go so then we're just going to put a little bit of flux on each end best way to do that get your flux got some od paste flux here it's about as old as this uh screwdriver i'm just going to dip it in there get a little bit on the end All right so then we can just paste it right here like that, a little bit, a little bit here. All right, and then we should be ready to solder. Hopefully it will be easy. We've done this before, right? Let's get the solder and iron. Probably cut some of this so I don't waste your time. Put a little bit of flux on this side. Now, generally, the, the, the way to do this is we're going to put a drop of solder on each end, and then we'll put a drop of solder on our pieces we're going to solder, and then we'll get them to stick together. So, here we go. See if this works. There we go. One down, one to go. Oh, look at that. Look how you solder one handed. Right. All right. That's stuck. Okay, now we got to do. A little bit on each piece here. Now we just got to heat it up. When both siders melt, it'll be a, uh, it'll be time. They'll stick together like that. Give it a second. And that's good. It's stuck. Be careful on this end. You don't want to drip any solder into the little teeny holes on the sides. Okay, now we just got to do the negative side. Of course, that's not going to stick. All right. We got our end soldered on. And now we're going to try it in there. See how we did. We'll see how it's going to work, right? Pop this one on here. I'm pretty sure the red's the positive, but it could be wrong. The only difference would be which direction the button pushes it, right? Alright. So then we need to put this should be plenty of room inside this thing for this battery in the wire. And there we have it. New uh, battery. Should take the uh, same charger, I hope. Just won't leave it on there too long. This should last a lot longer than the old stuff. Let's see. Oh. That 
that's about it for this one. Give us a thumbs up. And we'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. New Life for O'Tools on this one, huh? Again, thanks for watching.